Hello, Internet. Welcome to Making Money. <laughs> My name's Eric, and this is your Daily Dollar, our financial segment where I give you one lesson every day to help you reach your financial goals. We're still remote. <laughs> We're still traveling. Um, this will be the last day that I do, uh, at least this week. Um, probably a few more for the next few weeks because I will be traveling for, I think, three weeks. So we'll be doing some remote ones coming up. But I thought today would be another good lesson on travel. So today we're going to talk about a few things financially you should keep in mind <laughs> when you travel. Very important things. Um, so the first thing that we're talking about today is get a credit card that allows you to benefit from travel. If you are traveling, you should at least be getting the perks from it. Um, there's a lot of cards out there. Um, you know, airlines put out credit cards, uh, hotels put out credit cards, but there's, you know, even cash back or, you know, miles cards that regular uh, credit companies will put out. So make sure you have something that you can maximize your, your points and your miles from. So that's number one. The second thing is kind of a general thing, but know what's in your wallet. When you travel, there's always the possibility that something's gonna go wrong and you're gonna lose something. Heaven forbid you get mugged. <laughs> Nobody wants that. <laughs> um, but if you were to lose your wallet, do you know exactly what's in your wallet right now? You know what cards are in there, what identification. Um, you should know exactly what's in your wallet because if you were to lose it, you're gonna wanna make sure to one, replace any credentials that you've lost, but also, to report any lost cards or other information. Um, this can be big, insurance cards, uh, credit cards, um, and it can also save you um, some financial heart heartache in the long run. So make sure to know what's in your wallet. Um, the next thing is exchange rates. This seems like a s simple thing, but it's good to know what the exchange rates are for the com or countries that you're gonna be traveling to if you're traveling outside of your given country. Um, yeah, you can, go to most airports and you know exchange your currency but if you're exchanging at other places it's good to know what it is to make sure that you know someone isn't taking advantage of you <laughs> that you are getting the proper worth of the money that you're exchanging which is a big thing um, and then the last thing that we'll mention today is insurance travel insurance is important yes it is an extra fee and you kind of have to balance what you're going to be you know covered by by how much you're spending but it can also save you some extreme heartache if you were to ever get in a situation where you would need to use it. So at least, at the very least, review your options when it comes to coverage. Maybe you already have coverage under one of your other you know, credit cards or one of the other you know, insurance policies that you're under, but make sure you have some sort of travel insurance or at least review those options. So four real quick ones today, no nice and simple. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, if you enjoyed this oddball travel lesson, feel free to like this video. Um, if you're enjoying the series, feel free to subscribe. Always appreciate it. I'm interested. Um, do you travel? Um, is there any keys that you try to remember when it comes to traveling that you would like other people to uh, know about? Feel free to leave that in the comments below. You can hit me up on Twitter, link in the description, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another lesson. See y'all.